Three years ago, we did our first Mozart CD, which had the so-called Jeune Homme Concerto on it, the E flat, the first, his first ma mature concerto, and the B flat, Kirschel four, five, six. Now we're doing these two concertos, G major and D minor. We have plans also in 2008 to do uh, the famous A major, K488 and E flat 449. So this is a slow journey of Mozart's concertos and I, I'm not sure we will do all of them. I mean, there are 27. I would certainly enjoy doing, doing many of them with this, with this wonderful orchestra. I think it's really interesting working with this chamber orchestra with these pieces because it's of course I have ideas about these pieces that I want to bring out but it's also a democratic process there, there comes ideas from the players it's a mixture of working with an orchestra and working with the chamber group working as chamber music and that's so wonderful because I, I get a lot of ideas from them as well and I really appreciate that work and I think that's why one can hear so many things in these concertos that otherwise I don't hear if I play with a normal symphony orchestra because they bring out so many wonderful voices and middle voices that are so important in these pieces, I think. I played the, the D minor concerto when I was 14 years old and it was the first concerto I played with a professional orchestra and I remember how shocked I was by the experience of having the, that great animal of sound behind me and it's such a dramatic concerto and of course that added to the feeling. Uh, it was so exciting and so confusing at the same time. <laughs> The solo cadenzas in, in the concertos at this time were vehicles for the soloists to improvise. And Mozart was a, was a fantastic improviser. But there are not cadenzas written down by him for all the concertos. I mean, we have some of them, but he was just improvising. He wasn't writing down all of them. Uh, Beethoven was one who really loved this concerto. This was his favorite Mozart concerto. And he wrote wonderful cadenza, um, cadenzas in fact, but I play the one in the first movement which he wrote, which is quite a wild cadenza, um, very dramatic as is the concerto, but also in a very Beethoven kind of way. <laughs> The second movement of the G major, I think, is one of the deepest slow moments he ever wrote. I think it has unbelievable moments also because it, um, it's like an opera aria um, and it goes so many places. It, it is in C major and it's very, very open, but it has an episode where I'm playing in D minor, which is you know, suddenly one of the most lonely places I can think of in all the piano concertos. And the music very often stops and listens to the silence. And then it begins again in a different mood. So it takes you so many places.
I came very late to these concertos. I um, somehow was was not mature enough to to really enjoy this music fully until five, six years ago. And, and now it is the greatest joy to play these pieces.